Hello, creatures of the interwebs. I am your host, Cameo Shadowness, and today I'll be talking about Marvel and Axe's crossover commercial. Well, the first one. There are two out and three more planned. Why am I bringing this up suddenly? Because I like the commercial. Lunatic! NPC! You! Shut it, high pitched voice. I know it's problematic. There are blatant issues, and even I talked about a few with Superior Movie Debates. Check out his channel, by the way. I'll post a link to both his channel and this specific video we talked about below in the description. If you haven't watched the commercial already, please do. I'll link it too. From this point on, let's go over my rewrite and what I'll keep. Why will I be doing this? Because some things genuinely work. Others don't. Some parts I just like? And others help me think ahead for the long term. Will I be doing this for the whole five parts of the series? Eh, maybe. If this is well received. Five likes and I'll do a rewrite of part two. Or chapter two as they say. Let's start with skipping that horrible intro. If you really, and I mean really, wanted this. Change it completely. I never noticed how bad the descriptions were, simply because as an animator, I cringed too hard at how it was animated. A simpler slideshow would work just as much if you really want to keep something like this in. Superior Movie Debates brought up how vague it was and I had to rewatch it to realize he is right. What's sad is that the official website has actual better descriptions. Because of this, I just say skip it. Like, unless you really want it, use the Axe website description for their powers. Not this cheap bullcrap, but again, those are pretty long. Not too long, though. Now for the actual rewrites. I am okay with the narrator, but I'll be adding a somewhat foggy day to the mix. After this, I'll leave the kids talking because I completely understand why the kids talk when Black Panther is there. I came from two schools when even when there was a celebrity performing, there were kids talking and being on their phones. This is realistic no matter how disrespectful it is. Not everyone will pay attention, even if it is someone of importance. This leads to the other change I want to make, Black Panther talking about something else and letting the teacher call them out. Superior pointed out that the lack of calling out being unrealistic and I agree there. I say let the teacher call out the freshmen. Let's make it Danny Lee aka Kid Vanish. Why? Because he openly said it was boring and he prefers lions over Black Panthers. I don't know why, but I really like that line from him. It may seem unnecessary, but I like it. It also helps tie into another reason why he'd be so bored of Black Panther. People can and will be petty like that. Here is when you have him get in front of the class and told to explain himself and apologize. He does explain, and Black Panther questions him. Here's what I think would be decent dialogue-wise. If you have other suggestions, let me know. Mr. Danny Lee, why are you talking in class while King Tatala is talking? Because I know everything already. Oh, really now? T'Challa should be visibly smiling and have it be a devious smile. Like he's going to catch this boy. What makes you think that? Because we went over it many times already. I can cite you anything from those lessons by memory. This way, Danny still holds up his cocky upfront nature. Let's see how much you really know. This is where I say cut T'Challa off with the alarm just like the normal story, and the other kids are dismissed. The teach and T'Challa keep Danny behind, and this leads him to meeting the group later. Why is him meeting with the others later important? This is where the axe part comes in. It is still slightly foggy, but lighter than before. Still clearly visible, though. The others are still talking about hooking up Damien and Alyssa, but 
the one-off guy is there instead of Danny for now. Let's call him... Joe. Anyway, Damien is still cringe. Joe rolls his eyes not responding yet. Tyrell makes his comments. But this is when Danny comes in with his continuously cocky look. Man, what are you guys talking about? Given that he just came in, it makes sense for him not to be nose blind compared to the others. He's new in the area and thus catches the smell when they don't. He also adds this because of that. And why do you all smell bad? Joe makes a basic one-liner while smelling himself. Let Damien question Danny on why he's here smiling in which he explains he got off scot-free after showing just how much he retained from his lessons impressing T'Challa. Despite impressing T'Challa, he notes how he's now on his teacher's watch list for his original disrespect. They shrug it off and Danny gets closer to hug Damien under his arm with some needed advice. Danny goes, Now listen up, I know exactly how you can get Alyssa to dance with you. One, smell good. I got enough acts to share. All of you need it either way. Two, and this is where he spits his fire. I like this part of the original, and it works. I'm keeping it. During this, however, you see the others spray the axe and the fog clearing up around them. Joe makes his bad comment, and Danny points him out while also reminding everyone how smart he is. He did get out of trouble after getting caught while talking when T'Challa was, after all. Now, I know Superior had a problem with Joe's comment, but I am planning much further ahead. I see him as a potential villain slash antagonist down the line, and this is to establish his character a bit. Joe is not pleasant to the ladies, forceful even, and given that the freshman has two girls, I can see this playing out pretty bad for him down the line. Don't worry, I'll write it so he gets his dues. Beyond that, this story ends as the original, only with the added set fog around the others. What do you guys think? Were my changes enough? My dialogue is off or something? Let me know down below, and thanks for watching. If you got this far, type below your favorite design out of the freshman, if any at all. Thank you, and have a great day.